What's happening, BMF fans? We've got a dilemma going on on this show. A lot of people are saying that they love Lamar more than Henry, and it's dragging this season down. What say you, fans? And after what has happened in the last episode of BMF, we have a burning question about that album Charles did called Losing Lucille. I first told y'all that number two was my favorite, the Easy Rest Motel. But after the transactions on the last episode, I think that number 11, F. Dr. Maurice, is probably the new number one out track on that album. We'll talk about that and so much more. It all starts right now. I'm up early for the dealers come out. Everybody is outside till the killers come out. You ain't eating, you just act full. I'm impactful. Dozen funerals in a month. I got that cool. I will give it to niggas in all rap forms. Ignatius out right now on all platforms. What's happening, y'all? You in the building with the all knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. It's damn all everything. Sexy as hell host. That's me, Lamont Tyson. And I have special guests joining me today to talk this BMF talk and get things together. First and foremost, I got a hammer for you. The hammer Moochie is in the I'm building. Here, she's hey. Okay, there she go. There she go, y'all. In the building. And then I have another one. Atlanta's finest, Monique Nicole, is in the building. What's up, sis? What's up? What's up? I am sorry, brother. I will not be able to be on camera today. Yeah. Okay. You're so good. Heads up. You're good. <laughs> sorry. Look, no, no, nobody gets mad about that, y'all. You don't have to be on camera all the time. People want to hear your voice. They want to hear your thoughts. You know, that's what we want to hear. So we're here for that. And while we are doing that, ladies and gentlemen, your boy is getting some sponsors. Number one, TikTok is giving me a whole lot of push. And I want you guys to take a look at this stuff on TikTok Shop. That's my TikTok. Click the button that says TikTok Shop, and you can get all this good stuff. Air Jordans, um, aphrodisiac cologne. That should have made women jump on you like a tiger on an elk. And then you've got drones. All you got to do is click on my TikTok Shop link, and all that stuff is in there way cheaper than what you can get it from anywhere else in America because it's not coming from America. We'll start this conversation off with this right here. And Moochie, you was here first, so you get first. A lot of fans have been in my comments, and I mean a lot of them, mostly men, but a lot of them anyway, saying that they are not feeling this season is unrealistic. And I think a lot of what they're saying has to do with the adversary, Henry, they not feeling her. And I see a lot of people saying they miss Lamar. So my question to you, Moochie, is it that Henry is ruining the season or something else? What do you think? I feel like uh, Lamar ran his course. He moved on from that. Yeah, Henry, yeah. Our, this character, she's, to me, they put a, a they, the character that they have for her is for somebody in this decade. Not okay. in the early 90s. If she right. was a, a woman and that was in the life that's in the LGBT, she wouldn't be, she would be dressed more like the dudes. They like, to me, she's not believable. Okay. Okay. I got you. I got you. All right. Well, Monique Nicole, do you feel like it's Henry that's making fans say that they this season is not realistic, or do you feel like it's something else? Well, actually, I think it's both. So I agree with Moochie. I, I don't necessarily miss Lamar. I think he was an excellent villain. He mm -hmm. definitely elevated the show. Right. Um, however, like Moochie said, I think he ran his course. I think we all agreed it started to get a little corny with him. Remember, it started to get a little bit like he was like a Marvel superhero. It, 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 you know, it ran its course. So I, I loved it. I, yeah. love, I know what you're talking about when he had that black jacket on and was running in the wind with the coat. That oh, shit was funny. It was just a lot. It, you know, <laughs> we, we liked Lamar. He was a great villain. He was great for the show. I will never take away from that character. Like Moochie said, we moved on. Henry is definitely a major... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? She's definitely... The culprit, not the culprit, one of the culprits for this season. Um, she definitely, her character, it's just, there's so much to it. And I, I, I want to be fair 
because oftentimes we attack the character or the actor, I'm sorry. And a lot of times it's really whoever's behind it. You know what I mean? It's the the writers, the producers, the directors. So I don't want to come for her too much, but I, I'm just going to stick with the character. Okay. I just think it is it is cheesy. It's it's very over the top, very over the top. Um, I, it's just there's a lot that I could say about Henrietta's character that she she's just not likable. You know, we we all love a good villain. We do. She's not a good villain. Okay. Period. Yeah. And I will say, as far as this season, I have made this um, public on other platforms, but I I'm gonna be honest, you guys, this is my least favorite season. If we look mm. at season one and season two, I think those were much stronger s- seasons. Um, from the characters to the to the uh, the storyline, the subplots, I just think season one and season two was much stronger. Uh, season three, I- I'm not a fan. I'm not saying it's terrible, but I do think it's weaker compared to the first two seasons of BMF. Gotcha. Well said. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have one more of the lovely ladies of Life Games joining us today. I'm sure she's going to have a hot take on this. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to the stage now. Lex the Targaryen, and we want to hear from you. Do you feel like Henry is dragging this season down, or are you okay with Henry, Lex? Oh, well, I think I kind of made my stance last week. I'm ready for her to get a hug wig knocked off like she's irritated me from episode one i'm not gonna lie her character is very unnecessary like i agree with monique we love a good villain like ain't nobody want nobody wanted to get cut off like we loved lamar but as Mucci said his story did come to an end so it would have ruined what we liked about him as a character to drag it on but with that being said those are big shoes to fill. So now the big bad is Henry. And I do believe she's definitely out of place, just like Moochie said. Like, I, it, it just doesn't fit. It's kind of just like when you buy that size eight and a half, knowing you were nine, trying to get yourself toe room because it's cute. And then you don't went out to the club and it's like, oh, my God, I'm dying. I'm in pain. Somebody save me. That is what's happening with this character. Like, she can go. I'm not happy with her. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen. Don't go buy a size eight when your ass is a size nine. <laughs> and I guess that means I guess that means don't go write a villain that only ranks two when you need a size 10 villain. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, I wonder, I know that a lot of the people that do work on BMF watch. This is what the fans are saying. And I want you fans to comment, please let us know what you think. Be sure to like this video. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to share me with your friends. Let's make this thing happen. And now we're going to get into some of what happened in the episode. And Monique, I'm going to come your way first. In this original clip, did you realize that Coach Cop was um, training Meech and and T? Did you realize that that's who this was? Because I didn't. I did. I did. Yeah. I did. It's just really interesting. And I I may have to, you know, go back to season one to remember. Because I'm going to be honest, y'all. I don't remember what what was the main thing that made um, Coach Cop become enemies with Meech? What made him have such a disdain for Meech when he played such a, you know, a father figure, uncle figure? You know, how did he, I just, I just don't, I can't remember, you know, what happened. Uh, look, I'm, I'm going to tell you, Moochie can give you that, but Mooch, oh, before you give it to her, mm-hmm. I also want you to, I also want Mooch to chime in on this because I know she's going to have the hot take. Uh-oh. Mooch, I said that this same love and care he's given to these other kids, where the hell was this for his own damn son? Floor is yours, Mooch. I had a whole rant on my um, recap Friday night. And I just feel like, how you going to show this after you, after you bury your son? It's like you nurtured Meech and Terry more than your own child. And that's messed up. You ain't taking care of your own backyard. Is that why it's so much animosity towards me and Terry? Because I tried to lead these guys in the right direction, and now they become my adversaries. But you was on the take. You can't. You can't have it both ways. Mm. You got mad because your partner got taken. Mm. Yep. You got mad because your partner got taken out by Kato. 
Oh. But you blame it on Meech and Terry. Mm. Mm-hmm. And I don't mm-hmm. even think Meech had anything to do with that. That was he did. all Kato. Yep. All yep, that's true. And, yep. and that's yep. why he's mad, but he's mad at the wrong person right now. Yep. At first, he was taking it all out on B. Mickey, but then that went sideways once little Kevin got a hold of the pal pal. And you know, <laughs> we all know how his situation is. Yeah. He got a hold of that pal, pal. And you are absolutely right, Moochie. How are you going to be mad at these kids when you mm. reared them up, didn't rear your own damn son, and then they they brought you into the game and put money in your damn pocket? Mm. Okay? Like, they put money in your pocket. Meech had you in the game corrupt. And now all of a sudden, it's you brand new. Uh, what say you, Lex, the Targaryen? Because folks be what, folks be hitting me up saying, when am I going to get her back on my channel so I can get her hot takes? I said, well, damn, she got music. Go listen to her music. Go ahead, sis. I know the little dragons miss me. I'm sorry, y'all. The Khaleesi was out here chilling on the stone. But anyway, um, yeah, I absolutely agree with everything that was previously said. Me personally, I do think it's a hidden animosity. Like, Exactly, exactly. Uh, uh, what you guys said that you know, I spent all of this time on you guys, and then it, I think he kind of just threw a giant tantrum, and mm-hmm. it was kind of just like, well, I don't want to do this anymore, and now I'm gonna be the vigilante taking down me, like you was just getting payments from him, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? We go back to season one, this, this is very deja vu ish because. This is where we were introduced to him when Meech pulled up when he was coaching one of the games. You know what I'm saying? So uh, uh, his whole character art. Now, don't get me wrong. We love him. But it, it, it's just like, what are you really mad for? Like, you butt hurt. And it's just like, it's a missing piece because it's like, where the heck is B. Mickey? Like, we just right. not going to have no more Mick. Like, that storyline is unfinished because we all know he didn't snitch on Meech. But we all know... You know, I get. I, I don't even know if his storyline matters no more because it's not like he could save Kevin. I, ju- I just don't like what they did with B-Mickey, honestly, you know. But, you know, back to this, I, I just... It, it's gappy, you know what I'm saying? And I'm with Moochie. Like, this is not my favorite season. I do feel like next season is going to be crazy. Even before we know how this season pans out, I feel like this was a transitional story season, almost like a prelude to like all the hell that's going to break loose in further seasons and like the actual fall of BMF. You know what I mean? But I, eh. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, post your comments on coach cop and his trilogy, his story, what may have you, and be sure to go check your boy out on TikTok. life gains one. And when you get in there, don't come just for me in the videos, come for the deals. TikTok shop has shit cheaper than Amazon and anywhere else you're going to find it. Look at this. You got a USB air pump that pumps really fast, $31. T- hoodies, $12. Drones, $43. And then you've got USB chargers that charge your phone literally in 15 minutes from zero for like $24. And then if you want more, you see that cologne right there? If you want women to jump on you like flies to poop, put that on. You ain't going to be able to go nowhere. Wives ain't going to let their husbands out the house. It's only $7. Trust me. Is that a wrestling belt I saw? That's a wrestling belt. Is that a wrestling belt? This wrestling belt on TikTok shop is $250. If you order that from WWE, it's $590. Yes, Yes, you can get the wrestling belt too. Ladies and gentlemen, click on my showcase. You get everything you want. So you up on deck, um, Lex Lex Targaryen. Here we go. Meech is in St. Louis with Jay Pusher, and I didn't know that this girl was Sweetie. I didn't even know how to pronounce her name. I was calling the salty on my video, but they said Sweetie. All right, <laughs> <laughs> they she said Sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> they said, I, "I look. I was trying to read how she spelled it. I was like, saw we tea." No, like, I okay. saw your video. I was cracking up. <laughs> I was cracking up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, th- thank thank you all for helping correct me. Okay. Thank you. I, that's why y'all are here to help a brother out. And hey, Jay Pusher brother got that gas in baseball, y'all. That boy throwing like a hundred miles an hour. He gets taken. Mm. By these two red and stimpy MFs that don't know what the hell they doing. They ain't real killers. And they holding him up for ransom because 
they felt like Jay Pusher gave them some bad drugs and they need the money. Well, they threatened Jay Pusher, cut the boy pitching finger off, mm. send it to the mama who's like, I want revenge. So Lex, you get on deck, talk to me about this story with me being in a new place and having to help out. With Saweetie. <laughs> but um, I do, I think, first of all, I think Saweetie did a very good job. Go girl. Um, I, I did too. Now Lex, huh? people told me she didn't do a good job. They told me I was crazy. I thought she did a better job of most people that was guests. That was guests on the show. I agree. I mean... She ain't she ain't hit us with the you know the the <laughs> meat with my husband. So I mean she did I right. <laughs> I'm an Aquarius, I'm so shady. Anyway, um shout out to Carisha Per. Anyway, um yeah, I think she did a good job and I think Meech is as dumb as Meech could be sometimes, he's very intelligent. Like, we've all heard our grandparents or you know, your parents or whoever say you catch more flies with honey versus vinegar. I think that's how the saying go or something like that. Mm -hmm. So you gotta know how to you gotta know how to finesse. Let me tell you something. The art of finesse is is really something, y'all. Like it's not just oh the gift to get like you really have to have the art of finesse. Okay. And he is smooth criminal. And you know, old boy brother would have had his all ten of his digeronis if he would have just listened. But oh no. So, I mean, oh me do bring the hurricane where he come, but cause, let, let me tell you something. Somebody sent me one of my sibling fingers. Oh, my God. Mm. Uh -oh. Let me tell you something. Mm. I'm going I'm to a, I'm a, I'm a get on bended knee and, and bump the seven. I'm going to talk straight to Jesus because at that point, I can't help you. We out here decapitating fingers, but he bought that on himself. Yeah. So, you know, and you could have possibly ruined his career. Like, I don't know if, like, picking up a bat, a digit short, throws stuff off. <laughs> Uh-oh. No. I'm sorry. Lex, hit your mute button, Lex. Lord, this is not right, Lex. You're not right. Lord, Lex. You're not right. Get the hell out of here, Lex. God. So, this so girl most, is savage. I'm telling you, man. She is the Khaleesi, y'all. She drops that yes. fire for real. So, Mo, I'll come to you. And 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 um Lex, it was it's not the bat, it's his pitching finger. So instead of pitching with his whole hand, he's gonna be pitching like he's special needs and shit like this, like a dragon. Just like a dragon, but I'm go go he, ahead. He let got him ball. Me. Oh my lord! <laughs> poor finger. Oh, that poor finger. <laughs> Boy, y'all, y'all, look. We might as well call this life games after dark every yeah. every month every every, every, every new well. year. We might as well, child. But <laughs> I agree with Lex. I like this is the thing. As soon as you kidnap my sibling. Yeah. What? I'm not even like. Yes, I'm gonna be on beast mode, but I'm I, I'm gonna finesse it. I'm I'm gonna tell you what you want to hear, even if it's a lie. I'm gonna do what you say. Blah 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 blah. And then when I get my sibling back, I'm gonna pop you like that. Like, mm -hmm. but all that all that rah rah rah, all that talking big man. What you you're crazy. You're crazy, crazy. And I'm sorry. I have to just say. I, who was I talking to? Was I talking to Moochie? I can't remember who I was talking to, but the acting from that mama was <laughs> so realistic. That was the most calm mother I've ever seen. If what if your child was kidnapped and you got a mm -hmm. finger, I needed to see way more rage, way more emotion, way more desperation. The acting was very subpar from the mom. I just have to say I that. Disagree. You disagree? I disagree. Yeah, yeah. No let's go. To, let's go to Moochie, Monique. I, I, I disagree with you too, Monique. Whoa! I, I, honestly, I, I, I felt like I was talking. I, I, I can't remember who I was talking to, but they agreed. They were like, "Yeah, look, that her, her the mom just seems so flat." But go ahead. I, look, okay. So Moochie, I give it to you, but let let me and, and, and Lex, excuse me, Monique. Yes. What you were saying, I hundred percent agree with in terms of the mom was flat, and. I would say that that was good acting for me because she was so deflated. Okay. Like she like she was completely deflated and it was it's kind of like some people before they flip out in rage they're very calm like a hurricane, ooh, the ooh, calm before ooh. the storm. Okay. And then she finally rolled her eyes when she got finished looking at this box where that picture at. She told she told her son go get him. Floor is yours, Moot. Okay, so I'm going to give you the real. This is the era 
in the crack ever where they was doing a lot of kidnapping. Yeah. You always yeah. heard the true story with the paid in full story with uh Rich. Oh yeah. yeah. So this was a real thing back in the day. Mm. So if you know your son's a high head, which she already did know, she knew he fouled it up. That's why she got in his ass as soon as he came home. Okay? Yep. Yep. So mm -hmm. cool heads mm -hmm. is going to prevail, Moni, if your kid feeds off of you no matter what, even if they are a grown man. So if he see her getting hysterical, he's not going to think straight, and she wanted him to think straight. I'm just using that as an analogy. Okay. Because okay. she okay. went off in the room after to cry and stuff. Okay. Sometimes yeah, she you don't she want did. your children to see you break down like that because then they'll lose it. And he she already lost the her son already lost the finger, so she gotta hold it together. Right. Mm -hmm. And, and so and, and right, and Saudi did take her in that room because she started to break down. Like that's exactly. what I was saying, Monique. The calm before the storm. Mm -hmm. Like that mom displayed the calm before the actual breakdown when Saudi took her in the room. And when she came back in there, she said, I want him gone. You get him and get your brother. Mm -hmm. That's all he needed to hear. But what did he do in the same in the same breath? He still fouled it up. So yeah. she know her kid. Now imagine if she would have been like, Oh my god, my baby. All of that. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Bucci, you an actress, girl. That was believable. That was actually believable. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah, yeah. That's what you. It seemed like that's what you wanted to see. If you would have saw that, you would have said she was. I, I wanted, wanted to see. Nah, you gotta play it cool. Oh, I get you what gotta you're, play it cool. I you can't get, let him see you sweat, boo. I, I see what you're saying, especially if you know what your son is doing. I'm just giving you right, like right, like right. a real analogy of it. She know I her son in the game. Saying. You're, I see what you're saying. I guess it, it is very different with a mother like her who is very aware of what her son does. Versus, right. Versus if it, you know, versus if it was a situation mm -hmm. where her kids were keeping it a secret. I see what you're saying. She's more aware. Right. So she, I think she mm -hmm. knows about that life. So she was able to keep her cool. That I definitely right. see. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. Wait, wait, wait to nail that with Moochie and. While you on the hot street, Moochie, I'll stick with you. Um, uh, Monique, get ready to go next. Okay. So not only did we see the mom try to play it cool, but I felt like we seen Terry growing up a little bit because the boys wanted to come through and they wanted they wanted Henry neck on a stick for what she did. And he said, nah, we ain't going to go out like that. We're going to go back to the head of the snake and talk to this cat. And they did. And they're, like Blaze respects him. And Blaze brought the man a gift for his baby. Terry didn't take it, but Terry said, look, me and you are going to be enemies if you don't check your daughter. Moochie, what's going to be the next move right here? Look, Lamont, remember how we talked about how Elle going to have you wrapped around her finger? <laughs> Never. Look, this, Never. Is, this is the example Never. if it goes left. Uh, Never. You can't Never. <laughs> when you like, I don't want to hurt her. I know she deserves it. <laughs> yeah, like, like, not in this do life, I, Tom. Do, do I need to give you the Shannon Sharp lip? Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah, you look just like him. <laughs> no, he don't. His sweater not tight to, enough. El Zoo got him wrapped around his finger, but she's uh -huh. putting, his hand, putting his foot down. I'm like, no, little girl, you're not going to do this. Yeah, but, I do put the foot down, y'all. I do, yeah. I do, because I, you know, your children model who you are when they're kids. Now, when yeah. they become adults, it's tough. But when they kids, they model who you are as a person, and that foot goes down. But anyway, go ahead, move. <laughs> no, I, he he doesn't have control over his daughter. He needs to reel her back in. I hope we don't see the scenario that we've been seeing in all of these series on mm -hmm. stars where the person is taking out one of their parents. But I don't know if it's going to get to that. I, I wish he would just turn his head and let Terry do his thing. You understand? Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, yeah. If, if, yeah. It, if it's written out where she takes out her father, it's just like they're taking the whole formula of power and bringing it over to BMF. And mm -hmm. uh, okay, Mooch, I'm going to kick it to Mo, but Mo, I'm going to interject something. Okay. Um, I'm not, I am no longer on the bandwagon that Henry's going to take out her daddy, at least not this season. Okay. I am now on the bandwagon 
that Henry is going to end Jen. And it's not going to be the daddy this season. Jen okay. is done at the hands of Henry, but we'll let you stick to this right here with Blaze. Floor is yours. Um, I agree with you. I'm just going to say that real quick. I do agree. Um, Now, yes, let me give Terry some props. You know, I give credit where it's due. He definitely stepped it up. He got some hair on his chest this episode. Appreciate that. I like the way he stepped to Blaze. I, like you said, I think Blaze does respect him. You know, Blaze, y'all know I like people who are cool, calm, collected, very level-headed, very reasonable thinking, and that is Blaze. Unfortunately, Henrietta, she fell off. Um, mm -hmm. I do not want to see the father get taken out. If that happens, I will be very angry, very angry. Um, but I do think he's going to, I do think we're going to see him have to make a tough decision. And I'll just say that. I don't know how they're going to do it, but I just think he's going to have to make a tough decision by the finale. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll say that. Okay. I'm with that. Lex the Targaryen, Dracarys. Uh, I was talking to the, the muted mic. Um, yeah, I actually, I used to think that Henry was going to take your dad out for sure. Because it's it's a weird type of thing. But if you want my mm -hmm. honest opinion, I would be perfectly fine with him taking her out. Because mm -hmm. I, I want more Braxton. Like, yeah. I feel like yeah. he's not seeing his mm -hmm. full potential, but she got to go. And it's nothing mm -hmm. against the actress. Like, I hope y'all know that. It's just her character oh. is oh. so yeah. trash. Like, there, it, it's no way to revive her. It's no way to make her likable. Like she's really <laughs> trash. <laughs> like, like I don't know if she was like coagulated during constipation or something. Like, oh my god, trash. Like it's no way to save Lotus. Like, I uh, anyway. Um, more Braxton, less daughter. Um, yeah. But other than that, I do respect how Terry is moving. And I think that Brad, his name going to be Braxton, y'all. Don't correct me. I appreciate how Braxton is, you know, telling him, like, you know, this is my daughter. He's going to keep his daughter safe. But I feel like once her water is going to get cut off is when she starts to financially cost him or when she costs him a good relationship or something because can't nobody do nothing with her. Even when he told her, go make go make amends, and she didn't mm -hmm. do it. Like, listen, beat her with her mama. Do they need to find they do something with her because she's ruining the whole season. Like the the actress is doing a very good job embodying the crap that they gave her, but it's mm -hmm. it's almost just like saying, would you rather have like I don't know, like poop soup or pea souffle? Like neither. Like just away with her, please. Off with her head. I can't. Mm. Wow, P P super super play. Moochie, jump on in here. Moochie has a question, and when Moochie got a question, y'all, you better batten down the hatches. Now, when I saw him in the first episode, I thought of the character he played in Original Gangster. When I did my recap, I thought we was gonna get this person with that energy, but at a more mature level. If they do take him out, this will be a waste of a character. I agree with you, 100%. because mm -hmm. this is gonna. You see how me, um, I'm sorry, Terry actually had um sit down with this man and he saw how even though Terry is young, he sees that he's a he has potential. Mm -hmm. So I think he thought his daughter was going to have that same potential, but she just went left. Yeah. I think me, I think Terry and, and Blaze could have a good business relationship and he knows that. So right. the question is, is he going to turn his head yeah, or is he going to put her somewhere where she doesn't do anything or is she too far gone where he got to turn his head and let it go down? Because, you know, I, Terry ain't the only one that want to take her out. Nope. 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 Everybody in Detroit want to take her out now. And great point, Mooch. It's like the she feels like dad always wanted a son. He just said, I just wanted a child that I could respect. But Terry is playing the part that he wished the mm -hmm. daughter would play. Exactly. He sent her to all of these finishing schools. She know how mm -hmm. to speak more than one language, he says. Mm. Right. So right. it's like, yep. I gave you all the tools to help you become a boss. Mm -hmm. And you become a tyrant. Mm -hmm. So he's not satisfied with the outcome. A tyrant that likes to hang out at Adam and Eve. Mm-hmm. 
waiting for the truck to bring the biggest penises that you can strap right. on. Uh, <laughs> She want to strap it on and get some of the gin, but I think mm -hmm. she knows she is. Uh, yep. As, as, yeah, man. Wow. <laughs> Move, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, be sure to subscribe to everybody's channel. Um, can we get these likes up? We've got 160 people in here on Monday at noon. Let's mm -hmm. get those likes up, ladies and gentlemen. Go to TikTok and then get on my TikTok shop and get some of these fresh deals. Look at all this good stuff in there you get for dirt cheap. Dirt cheap. Uh, they don't have the dolphins. All they had was the damn cowboys and steelers. And I, for, you know, I wasn't putting no cowboys on the screen. Damn oh, that. I know. Oh, that's no, not. That you see what I'm saying? Oh. Fill you out see, I gotta look. Tag, I'm supposed to be at Lamont, so to speak. You know, Mucha, you know good and well. I won't put no <laughs> cowboys on the screen. Why you ain't got the cowboys? Uh-uh, uh-uh, no. Not no, hateration no, and holleration in the life gainery. That's the cowboys. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. Lex is a Cowboys fan now, and uh -oh. we're gonna get to her in a minute. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna jump on Monique right now because this one is interesting. Uh -oh. Monique, mm -mm. I said that, I said <laughs> that after this episode, my new favorite track is gonna be number eleven, F. Mm -hmm. Dr. Maurice, <laughs> the and that is because Reese sparked the conversation between these two because this man done went and sent flowers to the house where he know this woman is still living with her husband. Just know it. Just like, bruh, like, like, that's not even, that's not even showing that if she jumped on you, it's going to be better. Right. And then later on in the episode, they kissing and dry humping in the car and all this and that. <laughs> and he's telling her, I want you. Knowing she's still in the situation and she's telling him, I don't want, I don't want to be Anybody's woman, I'm a girl and I want that Cindy Lopper. I just want to have fun. Floor <laughs> is yours, Monique. Oh Lord. This number 11, y'all. F Dr. Reese. Baby, this is getting messy. Now, this is some real messy stuff right here. I've already told y'all I question Dr. Chocolate's integrity because he pressed Lucille knowing that she's a married woman. Not right. only did you press her, you call in the house. Mm -hmm. Disrespectful. You sending flowers to the house mm -hmm. of a married woman. You know she's got a complicated situation, but you should still have enough respect for her at least to not do that. So I already got my good eye on him. Right. Now Miss Lucille, honey, <laughs> had sympathy for you in the beginning but now you are dragging this out and it is getting on my everlasting nerve I understand she's going through a little midlife crisis right now she's trying to collect her thoughts but this is not the way to do it sister this ain't it and then you know I, I, I get it you know what I'm saying she was a teen mom she married young this is Charles is all she ever knew. She never got to really live life and explore. Like she's going through a little midlife crisis, but I just do not agree with how she's doing it. And I feel for Charles because even though he made a terrible mistake, a very terrible mistake, mm -hmm. I'm not excusing that. Very bad mistake. I still think he's a good man. I respect him for fighting for his marriage taking accountability and really trying to improve and be a better person. So you guys, this storyline is starting to get on my nerves and I don't know. I mean, we kind of know how it's going to end. We know they don't end up together if you follow the real life story, but I don't know, man, it's getting messy. It's getting messy. It, can I me just say this Dr. Chocolate, you got all this money. Why the hell you had Lucille in your car? Like y'all little high schoolers, Making out in the car. You ain't got no hotel room. You ain't what? got no house. You not what? renting property while you over there. What's what's the tea, boo? What's the tea? What's you the know, Monique. Tea? May, maybe she didn't want to go to any of those things. Oh, baby, maybe. she was hot and ready. She was serving that punani on a silver platter. Okay. Damn. Damn. Silver hot, damn. platter. <laughs> Damn, hot and, and ready like Krispy Kreme, huh? The <laughs> hot and ready sign was on. She was <laughs> that punani 
on a silver platter. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. Aisle number three, we got fried chicken, hot and ready, and, 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 and Piggly Wiggly. Aisle number three, we we got them cooked. This thing is talking steak. about, oh, maybe she didn't want to go. Boy! <laughs> she didn't want to go. She uh, was, uh, there, may, was begging wait, for wait. me. He was maybe, begging for D. Maybe he was trying to be respectful to that regard and take it slow. Like and he, was, he heard him. What what did he say? He said, you know, I'll I'll wait for you forever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Like he he's playing with her mind because he's halfway doing some things respectful, but then he's halfway doing yeah. other things disrespectful, Weird. you know. Yep. All right, Lex, get on in here, boy. I can't wait to hear this, boy. She worse she worse than me. Oh yeah, I was right. Like I was waiting for y'all to tell me to jump into the ropes. Tag team, let's go. I'm finna jump off like Matt Hardy. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Matt right Hardy here. is a wrestler, right y'all. <laughs> Yo, I was really sitting there like I couldn't agree with Monique more. Like she had the little Caesar spinneroonie, like just ready to go. Like dropping in a car at that age is crazy. Like crazy. girl, like. This is 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 really giving leather jackets and slick backs with poodle skirts. Like, how old are y'all? Like, like, y'all are wilding. Like, this they're really grease. wilding. Like, this ain't bro, grease. What? Yes. Like, it's definitely giving. Na, 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 na. Like, hello. What's happening? And then on top of that, like, I'm telling you now, like, I couldn't, I really could not agree more. Like, he is trying to beat down that lady Boudreaux and go back to his family because they somewhere. Right. They're somewhere. It's I literally just an ego thing. Like I think, I think he done flew into town trying to get him some nom nom, and he finna go back. And he, he pre or either that, or he just one of those like, like you ever see somebody like that that become obsessed because like it, it start off cute, and then next yeah. thing you know, you got Joe from you. Like you got Doctor Joe. Like I, I bruh. All I know is you ain't finna be sending no no flowers to to, to me and mine's house. I'm gonna let you know that mm -hmm. now. Charles going out like a whole entire we didn't see it coming wimp. Like, yo, it's 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 so much going on. We didn't like see it coming. Okay, like sign him to Motown so he could cry on the wax and at least get some money because fixing them drywalls ain't gonna do enough because Lucille Walls is dry too. <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, just saying, you know. Wow. Baby! Moochie, get in here. Moochie, get us out of this conversation. Get us out of here. Get us out of here, Moochie. Get us out of here, Moochie. Land it, Moochie. Land it. Land it. Get, a, get us Lying. up out of here, Moochie, because we ain't on the Easy Rest Motel no more. Get us out of here. Lying, well, she's not going to eat at no Rwanda house. She's going to eat with Dr. Maurice Montclair. Charles know you lying, but Chuck don't give a uck. But yes, he do. She's just, I'm I'm surprised at her. She carrying it on like a high school girl, getting ready to get pink pop in the car. What's going on? Dry humping. What is going on? Dry humping. He was about to pull him aside and see what he could, you know, see about a bill. I'm just saying. She's she playing her song. Even your kids know you playing yourself. Well, your son is like, no, you better look in the mirror at you because you the one that's that uh, bringing non-family into this. Mm -hmm. And then she don't want nobody to say nothing about her. She's wild. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She wow. is real hypocritical this season. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. I feel like she's being very hypocritical. You can't be yelling at Charles because he out making a song holding sister so and so hand, and you creeping in the house with moist drawers like sister girl. Mm -hmm. and, and, and on more than one occasion, Lex. And, and here's the thing. To get behind it for me, ma'am. Excuse me. She she came near and came on to him, and right. I think he just going at it and quitting. This is what I'm saying. He is trying to beat down that lady Boudreaux and go back to his family. He got a wife named Abigail on the clear side with two children. And she knows it because she knows that she's the prize here. He likes the chase. And I think he want to get one up on Charles because what happened to them years ago. It's so the rush I for her. With but don't y'all, do y'all not have a different perspective now that he turned her down in that car? No. He didn't take advantage of her. No. He didn't take advantage. No. no? 
You think it's a game? I, no. I feel no. like he likes her, but it's also like definitely like that cat and mouse. And men are not stupid. I'm, excuse no. me. Men are not entirely stupid. So sometimes they know when to be like, all right, let me pull back or let me. It's like that they get hip to the game. Like it's our game, but sometimes they know the rules and they know what they're doing. Now, great. You think it's a scheme? He, I, it's listen, a scheme. I'm listen, a man. I'm telling you. Listen, I'm telling you, Monique. He's that's slicker a than a can of oil in a white coat. Woo, girl. He, like, he wants her to give it to him, but he don't want it in the car like that. He could have had that when he was a teenager. Right, and it's story like time. Old, experience. He don't want to sneak and get caught. Okay? That's what's going break her and Charles up. And it's and it's a mental game too, y'all. I used to do this shit when I was in my dating days, young. Uh-oh. Women would be like, you know, my you can come to the house, and I mm. would come to the house. But to try to placate their security, I would say I'm comfortable if you just want to talk outside the house. No, good and damn well, my heart, girl, you let me in there. I'm gonna mm. pounce on you like a leopard on an antelope. Mm-hmm. But I would play the I would play the coy thing and say we can talk outside. Okay. You know, getting in the head, creating security. Oh. And Reese ain't doing nothing but the same damn shit right here. Cause, cause let me tell what y'all do. Okay. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. He, I believe that if he get this, he get a home run, he gonna be done. He gonna be running. Ooh. So work. Po- post y'all comments, man. Lex, I'm coming your way. Do you think he's he got still married? I think he got somebody. Yeah, it's got to be something going on, like. We don't know his history. Like we know nothing. Like they haven't really talked about his back yeah. his backstory. So we don't know nothing. I mean, maybe it'll come out. I'm sure they're gonna drag this out till next year, because um, it's, it's a lot of people intrigued with it. But there was a lot of women that felt like um, the things I said, which I felt like was exactly what a counselor would say in this situation. They felt like I was trying to give Charles a pass, and I iterated over and over. Charles made a mistake. He did. Mm-hmm. A bad mistake, but mm-hmm. Lucille is not doing anything any better right now. Mm-hmm. She's not. She's not. And um, mm-hmm. we'll leave it with that. And Lex, you on deck for what happened next? That was funny as hell. So <laughs> <laughs> Moochie talked about this scene where T had to get in Mama's butt about what you doing wrong. And this was at Lawanda's house because he tried to bring some items over there to make Lawanda feel good about the baby. And she's like, "Nigga, I need time. I don't need your gifts. I need time." But what was so funny was how the mama, Lawanda's mama, who was looking pretty cougary good, was like, no, nah, we're going to take that shit. Looking very cougarly good, okay? So then we had the meetup of the damn cougars. We had Lawanda's mama, and then we had someone who's Lawanda's mama's age pop up that's sleeping with Lawanda's mama's grand grand grandkid. Mm. We had Markeisha come over offering gifts. And this shit was so funny because... The grandma was trying to keep the fur coat and everything. Lex, how did you feel about Marquisha popping up to the house trying to offer gifts to Lawanda? Excuse my French. I would have beat that light skin hoe up because somebody need to. Somebody Whoa. need to. Somebody Whoa. need to. I would have blessed her like a pastor, baby. <laughs> I would have turned her every which way but loose. I would have. Gr- 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 ooh, child. I can't even get it out. You gonna pull up, you the jump off, and you finna pull up trying to whore me out. Do you do the in the words of dinner? What you think I'm finna whore myself for a boat for a fur coat? Smooch, you forgot the same dude you tricking off on is my actual baby daddy. What I need Mm. you for? Mm. Like, I'm Mm. I'm trying to figure out the logic Mm. behind this bimbo. Like, first of all, you're a pedo sleeping with a whole teenager, and you got two whole kids. Let's talk about it. We're not, no, she we're not gonna ignore the fact because she a girl. No, Marquisha is a pedophile. Okay, she getting her, she getting her, her Didiana on. Okay, let's talk about it. Second of all, you gonna pull up real disrespectful at my mama house. First of all, let me tell you something. Her and her mama different because the way me and Kaita would have got down, no, we would have tag team, shorty. Don't play. Wait a minute, me. Lex. You mean to tell me? Wait. Wait, Lex. That's right, Lex. Talk your shit, Lex. Talk your shit, Lex. I'm from Jersey. Lex, Lex, Lex wait a minute, like Lex. You mean your mama would have bopped in the back of the head, and while she falling down, you would have uppercut the bitch? And that's on that, and that's on nine seven three as a whole, baby. I'm from Jersey. You ain't gonna play with me like that. I don't know how they do it out there in the D, but out here on the East Coast, you would have got drugged to the curb. Yeah, coming to somebody else. 
That's mad disrespectful. That's and then crazy. you're offering me gifts. Like you're sleeping with my man. You're the reason. First of all, Terry out of line. You 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 can't keep your your Trickiana over there in the nursing home where she belong. Why is she pulling up to my house? Number one. Why are you wow. offering me anything? Number two. Number three, wow. you the reason that he missed my child's birth. Number four, are you coked out? Number five, with your kids? Because we ain't seen them since you. last season. Since wow. your baby daddy sent hitters to end your life. Let's talk about it. Talk exactly. about it. Exactly. Mooch, jump on in there. I got I'm gonna have to go get some cold water for this fire because damn it's hot up in this bitch after I that. Was shit. Why That's why her mother didn't put hands and feet on her on her. Cause she came near to me. You came in. Oh, so we're together now. So you have to accept it. No. Oh, right, he's right. Telling me one thing and he's telling you another. Look at the coat. Look at this. She she proving her point. She proving her point, but it makes me also say. She called CPS. Everybody's saying that she got the address from looking at the drawer. She had it from before that when she set up. She did. Yep. Yeah, she, she, she did. Part of that setup, y'all. I'm, I'm telling mm -hmm. you, and it's people still not believing it, but she called CPS. Mooch, we've no been said it. Thing. We we've been said and we stand by it till still to this day. Yeah. We okay. think that she so is the funny. CPS. Right. We think. <laughs> We think she is the CPS. Monique, jump on in here, man. And I was Monique, surprised that wasn't brought up because she, Lawanda already suspected. Yeah, her. she did. She so did. So you mean right. to tell me she comes to your house bearing gifts and you ain't bearing no ass woman? Yeah. Is, okay. Can we preach? Can we Look preach? That trick. Get um. Look no more wire hangers. Cause what? <laughs> Damn, I'm very she, confused. Damn, and then on top of that, th exactly what Moochie said, the reason she calls CPS is because if Terry lose them kids, you already know Lawanda is no longer a factor, and now she can hump on him all day. You pedo. Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Lex. You, I, mean, you got, I, I, I mean, Monique, excuse me. I don't know how to Lord. follow up behind Lex, because, I mean, Lex said everything. Listen, everything Lex said is what I, I, I feel. I, I, like... Y'all already know I've gone in on Markeisha this whole season. Yep. yep. Some of y'all men still be like, oh, she's resourceful. She's help. She, if y'all can't see, especially after this episode, if y'all yeah. can't see that she is dangerous, yeah. Y'all blinded yeah. by y'all blinded by her punani because I don't get it because <laughs> she is a dangerous woman. Yep. She's so freaking conniving. And, and and vindictive and sneaky. She can't be trusted. She's got some audacity to pull up to Lawanda's home, talking about let's make peace. I'm gonna be the bigger woman. The bitch, kick down your door, <laughs> smack your chick. I like. I give it to Lawanda for not whooping her ass because, I, oh my god, the nerve. The freaking nerve. Look, they yeah. better be Mo. She better be lucky. Lawanda, Lawanda, back in those days, parents used to um straighten out African American girls' hair with a hot comb that they have on a little yes. iron. She I'm better aware. be glad that they didn't have that iron on because if they would have put that close to her body, that plastic would have started melting immediately on spot. <laughs> she 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 would have effed over Markeisha, and you're right, y'all. She she deserved a butt win. But what's up with the mama? Why the mama so thirsty, Monique? The mama's the mama's thirsty. just a skeezer too. She just want to come up. She just want to check. She just want money. She just want to be about that life. Okay, that oh, mama ain't no good. She been like that since season one. Y'all remember Terry season came one, over with that stuff? Same lady that had Terry's name built. Yep. Yeah. She's the one. Probably a locker here to do some type of voodoo. You, she's about the bag. She yes. want people. Yep. People are like that. They set their daughters up to be taken care of because they know yeah. they're going to be taken care she's of. She's like, you're not going to get go. rid of him. There you go. Now Ladies. you got two kids. He's going to take care of these kids and provide for you. I want to. I, I want to see what happens when they find out about that house because they don't know right. about. Oh, shit. oh, let mama oh, find yeah. out about that house and see where how it go down. Ooh, that's right, a good point. Right. Now, now, Mo, I'm gonna stay on you. Then, right. Moochie, we coming to you because Mo, you hit you hit on the point of why we got we got a body bag, Markeisha, and them cougar draws. Because shortly after that situation, 
this bitch get pulled over by officer phone number, right? And instead of giving her a ticket the way he's supposed to, he gave her his phone number. And let me tell y'all something. That bitch was smiling ear to ear like Mr. Ed had just got a peppermint. She was smiling. Look, look at that shit. Look at that shit. Smiling uh -uh. ear to ear like a horse eating a peppermint. Yes, she was. And when you smiling at somebody like that, and this is the first time they seen you, the statistics say a woman know if they want to sleep with a man within five minutes of meeting his ass. Whoa. What, what the heck? That's what the heck? That is not her first time meeting. Yeah, they go, they go back. Older I know that. I'm saying that I'm saying that if a woman can deduce oh, in general, that I get what you're in saying. general, yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell do you think this is saying that she already know this dude? So um Monique, Flo yeah. floor is yours. She's a trifling ass trick. Like I've been saying this whole season. She is nothing but a hoe, y'all. I need y'all to wake up. Wake up. And she's a user. Now, I believe in being resourceful, but she's a user. She's an abuser. She's a skeezer. She's a trick. Pedo. And, and in a pedo. <laughs> I've been saying that since the beginning. Oh I don't know. I don't, I don't do the double standard thing. Roles are reversed. I, I feel the same way either way. Right. Um, and we saw later on where her slut ass, oh, ooh, Terry. Oh, when you get so when you get so jealous, it makes me <laughs> whack. Bitch. That's a dangerous one. Men who are mesmerized by this character. That is a dangerous woman you should stay away from. Mm -hmm. Now, this situation with the cop, we're going to see more of him for sure. I don't know what she's going to try to finesse. I don't know what she's going to try to do. She's going to try to pull one over Terry and probably see, make it seem like, oh, he could benefit us and put him on payroll. I, I see it. I see it being something like that. But she's a skeezer. That's all I got to say. Mm, Moochie, jump on in here with officer phone number and just how dangerous this is for Cougar Draws to be bringing this this cop into the situation mm -hmm. when you know what your man do. Like this is stupid. Yeah. And and, Isn't and, you, that and this how was Terry got in. Yeah. Hmm? Isn't yeah. that how Terry got in? That, that's how Terry That's true. A, A cougar. Cougar. A mm -hmm. cougar don't change his spots either. I, I, I'm I'm refraining from calling her that for the simple fact is that they say in real life she was only two years older than her. Oh, okay. So but this is TV. They basically picked somebody that, you know, mm -hmm. I, and I'm trying to be, be uh think about the person who's, who she's actually portraying because she's having anxiety attacks every week about this, y'all. So, really? Yeah, really? She, she she's been very vocal. About it. Yeah. But she's oh. like, you know, this is not even my character. This is not even how I was, you know, she yeah, and well, well Moochie, that's a that's a good thing because you don't want you don't really want a dramatized character to represent who you really are anyway. Exactly. Not so in this. Everybody saying that you're trash or whatever. I mean, I would embellish on it and be like, you know what? Now you're going to hear my story. Uh -huh. Yeah, and, yeah, and exactly. Hopefully, exactly. I, I know it's something on BET. I'm gonna check it out and I'm gonna see what it is. But uh, yeah, she. Vince is a bad look. Mm -hmm. Vince is a bad look. It's dangerous. And now this the this the starting of him and Terry's relationship is on a bad note. So can mm -hmm. Terry really trust this guy? No. Hell no. Sideways. And if he trusts her because off the strength of her, now she's really got him in the palm of her hand. Because now mm -hmm. she's gonna manipulate this the situation where, like, look, if you if you go back to your BM, you know. I can make a situation happen for you. You understand? Mm -hmm. I can make wow. a situation happen for you. Definitely. Yeah. Wow. He could, he could end up getting jammed up because of this broad. And this is what Meech was worried about. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Um, Lex, I'll give it to you. There's only one saving grace for Terry. And a lot of people would like to say he's going to have to kick um, Cougar Draws to the curb. But that's not going to be a saving grace. His saving grace with Vince is going to have to be Blaze. Blaze is going to have to handle this situation for him. What say you, Lex? This is a mess. This is <laughs> honest. Like, I mean, I'm I'm just tired of this pedal and her story because 
<sighs> it's too much. Like now oh you got officer. Like because we still forgetting like how old. T- like let's not forget the boy was still in high school last season. Like he's still yeah. a kid, and she has two children. Mm-hmm. Like this is nasty, and she playing. And can we just touch on how Terry is actually a real crappy father? Because how you got Wanda? still at her mama house in the hood and you and this hoe yep. is out here living in daggone uh, 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 Scarface house. I'm confused. Mm-hmm. I have utter confusion. Mm-hmm. Oh, what you thought? Because you coming over dropping off vans and gifts and stuff. So when it's 3 a.m. and this baby crying and then it's 5 a.m. and that one want to snap and then, oh, she's there by herself. You dumb twat. Like mm-hmm. I have no time for the shenanigans and her and her whole like I don't know why she couldn't have just died when they shot at her last season (laughs) too much somebody had to say it y'all were thinking it it's just a waste waste of space post your comments y'all lord have mercy boy I tell you I tell you the strongest entity on planet earth is the black African American woman that's the strongest entity, ladies and gentlemen. And see, we as a panel, us ladies, we hold women accountable. So I don't want to. Yes, ever, y'all do. I don't yes, want to ever do. hear nobody talking about we bias and we get and yeah, yeah, yeah. Hail to the nah, nah, nah. Because guess what? We got proof. Well, Mo, people, you, you get subscribers at different times that may not know your opinions and thoughts, but the folks who've been here, they know how y'all women roll. They, yeah. they know how y'all, y'all are very mature. Very, yeah. very mature. Y'all just look young, but y'all very mature in the mind space. So, uh-huh. all right, Lex, I'm on you next. And we got to meet. So Meech then orchestrated a plan to help Jay Pusher get his brother back. Now for me, I enjoyed the intelligence of this, but this shit would not have passed if this was real life. <laughs> He pretended like he was playing baseball, but you're in the hood. You knew this wouldn't happen, but he got away with it. And in the end, Meech was able to catch the two dummies that took Craig. And when they got him, they stabbed him up, and they let Salty beat the hell out of him with a baseball bat. And then they brought his butt on back home to mama. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But I, Because I'm sick of stars giving they, – they, I'm sick of stars – Treating they stars like y'all ain't got nothing but a full size damn bed. Where the king begs at, man? But anyway, <laughs> the floor is yours, Lex. Uh, Lex Targaryen, the floor is yours. Meech Robinson, checkmate. Like that was that was a good move. <laughs> Real smart, thinking on his foot. Like I like that. Um, so that was good. But yeah, hell no, that wouldn't happen in real life. But it just. Nope. You know, although this is fictionalized, because the characters we are attacking, once again, because I know people are like, this is it. We're attacking the characters, not the real life people. Okay. So um, I I do think that that was uh, quite genius. And um, I think that if they would have just followed Meech's guidance from the beginning, then oh boy, would have been able to hold his baseball like a normal person and not E.T. Like, I, it, it was God, really man. simple, and people are just hard-headed. You know what I'm saying? It's, mm-hmm. it's, it, 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 it was just when, when flexing your power goes wrong, like, you really got to know when to hold them and fold them, when to finesse them, when to butter them up. Like, every situation don't call for you to be Grandmaster Tough-Ass, because that's why your brother out here a phalange short. So... Mm. Yeah, but other than that, you know, I, I I did enjoy her her massive. She they need to side note. I don't know if they they probably don't need to do an Avengers now. But if Sweetie was to ever cross over <laughs> into uh, wait, don't wait. Actually, I don't even think she's an Avenger. I think that's the whatever squad. Long story short, Sweetie <laughs> would be a good Harley Quinn. Like if they ever casted a black Harley Quinn, I think she would do right. a good job because she just got like a naturally pretty face, and then she kind of got she that swinging that bat like that. I'm like okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know. I feel like all '90s beds and movies look stingy, unless it's like one of them like real thought out movies, like New Jack City. I don't know. I just feel like all the beds during that time in theater look kind of stingacious. But yeah, you know, Meech, Meech be at one thing. Meech gonna do is fight and lay some pipe. Go ahead, Meech. Right. 
you see the baseball bat right in the background, boy. He would land that bat down. Land it down. I don't down. see how women back in the day got jiggy and they messed up their 27 piece. Like, girl, That's you got women. curls flipping in every which way. I be struggling sleeping on knotless box braids sometimes. Okay. Girl, I don't, think I don't see how they did it. Back in the day, so they don't <laughs> <don't think> <laughs> Moose, jump on in here, Moose. Jump on in there, Moose. I the said they used to sleep in chairs so they don't mess up their uh -uh. head. You know. <laughs> I know one of my homegirls did that. And I was like, yo, you really going to go to sleep like that? She like, yeah. But that's before bonnets and stuff, lady. Mm. That's go ahead, Mooch. Floor is yours, sis. Floor is yours, Moochie. Uh, this scene, I thought, I thought it was played out because he's from out of town. So they, st you know how with the cops, they stake that area out? Mm -hmm. So they know the faces that's coming and going. So they, he's not a familiar face yet, Mooch. So this could be believable that it would. Back then, you, it, it, either you was either a rapper or a, a athlete. So you know, at this point, it wasn't many that many rappers around. So he, right. I feel like the athlete thing was the right thing to say. They from out of town. They don't, they don't look familiar, and he probably don't even know that many black baseball players. You know how they think? Mm -hmm. They think we all look alike. Mm -hmm. and, well, that was more during the '90s. The '90s was the peak of. A black baseball players ever since the nines is starting to go down. But um finish go ahead, Mooch. Yeah. I know with this, I thought this was cool. I like the way Sterl played this out. With the whole yeah. thing with the eye for eye thing. Mm -hmm. and, and they caught on to him. Meet you smart to get the uh menu to know the restaurant and all of that. So yeah. So this was I, I mean, I'm looking at intricate things where some people might say, Well, this part Oh, that part is not believable, but some of it was. The, the whole yeah. baseball thing, yeah. What about the bed, Moochie? What, 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 what about the bed, Moochie? What it's kind good. of bed is that anyway? Do, where do you get that? Regular, you can't... It's a regular size bed, y'all. Okay? She, look, if she living there by herself, she probably That's don't true. entertain that often. Mm. Okay. I mean, I'm not okay. thinking of, I'm thinking of stuff like that when, when a girl get their first apartment, you just getting a full size bed. You're not yeah. Honestly, it's probably a queen. I'm not gonna lie. I have a queen size bed and yeah. when my niece come or, or, you know what I mean, like my best friend or something, like I definitely let my friends or whatever sleep in here and it's just like, dad, get away from me. But when I'm by myself, it's like, ah. So it's probably yeah. a queen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Monique Nicole, you get to wrap up on this. Beat those beds, though. Remember how tiny that one was? That shit oh, was hard. Lord. That was like a it college like dormitory bed. That was a college dorm bed. It looked yeah. like Bert and Ernie bed. <laughs> right. <laughs> All that was missing was the B or the E. <laughs> what you, what you got, uh, Monique? What you got on this whole meat situation? Listen. Him saving St. Louis. They really make him meet the superhero of the season, <laughs> which I'm okay with, you know. And, and I wonder how much of this is is real life, you know. what I'm saying, like I've been saying, you know, Meech is stepping it up this season. He really seems like he's the brains behind the operation, and I respect that. I like I like his hustle. I like the way he thinks, and all that. I like how he handled the situation with the kidnapping. I like all that. This little scene, you know, was very, you know, awfully convenient. Very convenient. It was giving power, you know, Tariq spinoff. Very convenient. But it was cool for what it was, you know. And then as far as Sweetie, and the, uh, again, Sweetie's acting was very decent. Definitely better yeah. than Young Miami. I have nothing really to say about her acting. I have nothing to critique. My only critique, and hear me out before y'all jump on top of me. Okay. I feel like I respect Sweetie for, obviously, in her contract, she did not want to be naked and have a full-blown sex scene. I respect that. Do you, sis? My only issue is like, girl, you couldn't wear a bra because let's be real. We see, I mean, we I see how sweetie dresses on Instagram. I just mm. feel, damn, a bra would have been nice. Can I see some cleavage? That's my only thing, was the sex scene was kind of weird. Um, but besides that, I mean it was cool. Okay. You know, T Meach. Meach with well, my back. With my bad. Um, we'll end on this note, and Moochie will go. We'll go in this order: Moochie, Mo, and we'll end with Lex. Um, Jen, Jen has decided that she's not just going to sit around and do nothing. Oh, she Lord. let Coach Cop know that she knows who Henry is, mm -hmm. and she decided to go and infiltrate Henry all by herself. And I am now officially worried about little Jen Moochie. What say you? 
I'm worried about her too. Mm. Cause this scene right here, she recognized something, and I'm like, I'm trying to put it together still. So I I don't see this ending well for her. Okay. It's, and we already know what I feel. We had a foreshadowing moment too with her and Brian in the bar when he said that she has a quick fuse. Mm-hmm. Right. You take me with you. I hope she sticks to that and she doesn't go by herself like how she did this time. Mm-hmm. Right. Monique, what say you? This is my fear, Monique. Yeah. We've we've already seen Henry love to shoot people when she's messing around with them. <laughs> so I am hoping Jen is not going to be stupid enough to let her get her from the back uh-uh. and, be able to, and be able to shoot her right in the back of the head without seeing it coming. What say you? I'm very worried for Jen. I am extremely worried. I I think she is um, underestimating the situation. You know, when when she was talking to Brian, he was serious. He was like, "Yo, I, you know, she's a hothead. Like, you should not go there by yourself." Like, he made it very clear. So, I really think Jen doesn't realize what Henry is capable of doing. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm very, very concerned. Now, in this scene, I believe um, when Henry grabbed um, Jen's arm just because she saw the burn marks, I think, on her arm. That's what I've been hearing. So that's right. something to think about. Um, but yeah, I don't, this is, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm nervous about this. Right. And what say you, Lex? You're on mute. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yep. Okay. Um, I was saying um, that Wasn't personal it? Alexis. Personally, I think that she's gonna get her fortune cookie cracked. Like I totally agree. Oh. I think that. Thank you. I think that. Um, I'm sorry. I was getting my door dash. Y'all know I'm greedy. But no, seriously, she is. It's, it's, it's gonna be a wrap for her. And we said this last season, um, cousin Lamont. We definitely said this last season. We said that we did. She was on our chopping block recommendations mm-hmm. and. If you want to be technical, Jen has no story left. Now let's let's do the whole breadcrumbs theory. Let's go forward. Let's go back uh, forward to go backward, right? So we didn't see Jen in the bus. You we saw Leslie. Uh, I think that what was her name Leslie Jordan or something like that. The comedian Leslie Jones. Leslie Jones. Leslie Jones. And um, when we did see her, we were looking and we saw her and we saw Coach Cop. We would have definitely seen an aged up version of Jen if she was alive, because I'm more than sure she wouldn't have gave up to be reassigned or anything like that. It's over for Jen. So I don't know how it's gonna happen. I'm not gonna 100. percent I'm gonna give. We gonna update my prediction next week. I'm not 100 percent sure if she's going to be ended by Henry or if. She's going to go out like blazing glory. I don't know, but really, what is Jen's storyline? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. Point. Wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to read my super chatters, and then we'll get you out of here for the day. Shout out to all the super chatters that post great comments. So, number one goes to Steve, who did a lot, and Steve, brother, I appreciate you, and everybody who does like two, three dollars. It it all adds up, and I'm very grateful. So, Steve says. Over the top, after Unique is a zombie. He's talking about um, Henry. He's not feeling her. Then he says, B. Mick almost got off in ATL. He ain't returning. Yeah, I don't think he's coming back either. Mm -hmm. And my boy Demarcus Vaughn says, for $5, appreciate you, homie. I think Lenny will blow Jen cover. Henry will take out Lenny. Jen and Henry will have to take each other out. We'll see, because I think that... I, I don't think that Henry is going to take out her dad. I think it's definitely going to be Jen. Steve comes back and said, sad turning his head ain't the ticket either. Then we've got Steve saying, Charles cheated and still ain't fixed the walls. (laughs) 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 Them walls ain't going to get fixed no time soon, Steve. Mm -hmm. Steve comes back again and says, she asked Charles to leave and he said no. Yeah, but you know what? You can't control nobody else, and if you really want to get out, hell, you can leave, too, if you really want to do it that badly. Steve comes back with two more dollars. Doctors got them walls ready and wet. He Ooh. sure do. He <laughs> sure do. Like a new tapestry shit is ready and wet. Then Steve comes back and said, so we've established that Lamont ain't shit. Well, I'm good shit. Oh I, might God. Be shit. I might be shit, but I'm good shit. Yeah. Then, then we go back to I don't think Dr. Shay Shay is well endowed. 
Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, because he did say the comment about the little thick man. He did. He so did. He said, I'm talking about y'all said that. He said, I heard it's little. Well, he, yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -mm. Um, light skin shade. I guess Steve is light skinned. So uh, Lex, that's at you. He ain't like you said, saying that light skinned dudes all look like they're going to eventually have chicken pox. Mm -hmm. Nancy, hell no, Lex ain't say that. <laughs> <laughs> then DeMarcus says, who more scandalous, Marquisha or Queen Louie? Hmm. You know what? I'll let y'all answer that. Who's worse, Marquisha or Queen Louie from um, Snowfall? Marquisha. Mm. Mooch. Mm. We ain't seen her get. I say Louie because Louie had the. She was getting addicted to the power. She ain't get a yep. taste of it yet. What's yeah, the, she's I, I, like this now, Momo. How you think she's going to be worse. She's going to be worse than Louie. She's going to be. Go. Yep, yep. But if she what got, you, is she going to get that opportunity? Yeah, I don't know. That's good. So one. right now, if we going in for the runners now, I would say no. I say lose, okay. lose one. Okay. All right. What you got, Lex? Um, I I haven't watched Franklin yet. However, I'ma just simply say Marquisha because she a pedo. Damn. <laughs> Can't argue with that. <laughs> Steve, come back again. Steve, you is the man today, yeah, brother. Yeah. Damn, that's, that's about that's about fifty bucks. He says, "Whoop that trick." That's because I dead. said that. <laughs> <laughs> then Steve comes back and says, "Love Lex takes, but that light skin shade is real." <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> you hurt Steve's feelings, Lex. Let me tell Steve. you that. Um, I love you, Steve. <laughs> Steve. If it make you feel any better, I've been in love with Chris Brown since before I had boobies. So That's I love right. my light skin. I do. I, right. lo I love y'all. But I would have been that she light does. skin hoe up. The word right. that changes the sentence structure. I love light okay. skins, but that light skin, she would have caught these hands. Amen. Right, right. And Steve, she has been all on Chris Brown for real. That's her thing. Okay. And then, Got a song yeah. dedicated to that man. Don't play with oh, me. That's my Oh, man. not a song. I call him Whole Maurice. Song. I know him personally. Hey, Breezy. Uh-uh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Damn. Well, then Steve comes back and says he has two children as well. Y'all harsh today. Yeah, th these girls don't play, buddy. They don't play. And then last but not least, Steve jumped on you, Lex. He said, "Fortune cookies crack is crazy. It was <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that was good. That was good. I could say it, y'all. I'm part Asian. I could say it. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, so funny." Look. Well, y'all, that's going to do it for us today. We will look forward to coming back on Wednesday. Most of everybody that's up here today to give predictions on what they think is going to happen in the new episode. Um, Lex, please shout out whatever you're doing, how people can see your videos and music. Let them know what's going on. Okay, okay. So New York City Day Summit has returned. So I may be performing the 27th. I will update you guys on that in Queens. So I will update you. Um, other than that, if you have not seen my short film, uh, what the hell, please check that out. Links in my bio. I dropped my single Um Street like three weeks ago. So stay tuned because now we're on the countdown. The album comes out in July. And yes, it is officially confirmed. I will be in attendance at the BET Awards. So I'm not performing, Ooh, don't gas me okay, up, but you know, okay. you know, I'm going to be in the audience, you know, you know I'm going I'm to get a little picture behind a little BT. Y'all know I'm Yes, I know that's right, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys for always being so friendly. So we, are, we appreciate you, sis. Under the shade, we I'm like, we know you from Life Games Channel. It's Aww. like, oh, thank you. You guys are watching. I love you. My little dragon heart actually really loves you guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What you got going on the next couple of days? Moochie on your channel. Well, tonight we're going to be doing a roundtable discussion of BMF. EJ the TV Junkie will be hosting that. Tomorrow oh. we got Set It Off. I'm doing that with my girl Miss K and Pretty Girl Loves Trap content. Wednesday we got Mayor of Kingstown to rewatch. We're going to do episodes four and five. So we're going to get into that. And you know, it all starts all over again with BMF. So, you know, keep y'all notifications on. Hit the like, the share. Put me up in that algorithm, y'all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. 
And if y'all want to get more of a voice that sounds like it was made for a, a phone sex dating website, oh. all you got to do is subscribe to Mooch's channel. That's all you got to do. Uh -uh. And last but definitely not uh -uh. least. Monique got the hammer. Monique. Right. Mooch yeah. is talking all seductive. Uh -huh. Right. Y'all better, better watch it now. Y'all better watch it, boy. What you got, Monique? <laughs> all right, y'all. This week, officially, we'll be launching the new segment. I have a great topic to kick it off. I'm very excited. So y'all, please stay tuned. Turn on the notification bell button. That way you will be notified whenever I drop new content. Please subscribe to your girl. We're trying to grow this year, honey. Growth. All right. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> and for you guys with me, I'll be back tomorrow with Larry on an exclusive Black Entertainment News. And we're going to do a little stops. Larry wants to do a little politics because a little war got started this weekend. He uh -oh. wants to talk about that. Uh -oh. So we will be doing that tomorrow at noon. And in the meantime, please go subscribe to my TikTok and go to TikTok Showcase under my channel. Get some of these deals, man. They get to your house in four days. You pay Two-thirds less than what you pay on Amazon. There are some great stuff up there. Air Jordans. They've got the electronic scooter that goes 20 miles an hour. You can get that for $300. Anywhere else, you're paying at least five. And it's a great little fun tool for your kids and for grown folks as well. And um, just for Lex, I might put a picture of the Cowboys chain and <laughs> pin it up here one day. But for now, any team that you like, you can get just about, except for the damn Dolphins, for like six dollars, you can get it. So, ladies and gentlemen, a real team always stays sold out. So that's why you can't get the dolphins. So go and subscribe to that life games on TikTok. Go and say what you want to say, Let, because I know you want. Uh -oh. I, I saw your little mute button blinking on and off. I saw it. No, 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 no. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna be nice today because I listen. I'm an honest Cowboys fan. I'm a dog with them, but they trash. But anyway, um, I just wanted to say everybody out there in the world who belongs to the light of the seven, please be prepared because the baddest group of colored people on YouTube is finna get back to House of the Dragon Wing. Got that long, less than sixty days, baby. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes. So we almost back. We know y'all miss us. Don't nobody do it right, like let us. Let me let me catch up so I can you know mm -hmm. get up in that thing. I love the way she did that, y'all, because we are a very, very versed group of black people. We're not a monolith for sure. We are very versed. And when Game of Thrones come back, you're going to get it all from us. Previews, predictions, yeah. live reviews, um, right. single reviews. You're going to get it all. So get ready. We can't wait. And yeah. until that next Sex is Hell video, y'all, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Peace, people.